Okay, here's a little video on arches. This uh, is what I call a country arch because every, every stone that was here, this is real stone, uh, was laying around and we just picked it up and we sawed it to make our arch. But one of the things or good policy about arches to know is that every time you work with an arch, you always match your sides in the opening. This is the same stone as this stone. This is the same stone as this stone. Then when you're looking at it, there's nothing to throw you off. If you put big ones on this side and little ones on that side, it'll throw you off. And when you're working over the top of your arch, same thing, you always match your stones. All the stones here match this side. And then you, as you go up, you just lose it. But uh, this is two parts of the video. I'm going to show you how we did this arch, and then I'm going to show you how to cut uh, limestone arches. What we're doing is we're doing uh, the arch over the top of this fireplace. And we cut this piece of black paper out to represent our arch. And then we look at it and we see if everything's in proportion, that's what we want. And then we take this down, the black paper, we already described it, and then we start, we start our arch right there. You see, we put the black paper down that we took off the fireplace, and we're starting to build a random arch. And what you do is, before you even start your job, here's a, all the stones just laying around. You always pick your choice stones. We got our center line. You see, this is our center line. We lay our first stone down, and then we try to match our arches. This piece to this piece, this piece to this piece. It's not written in stone, but we put our black paper down, and then we make our mark here. And we make our mark here like this, and we know because of that, the angle, we're going to have to cut a little piece off of this stone like this. And then we go outside and we cut it. Now here's our arch, it's all laid out on the floor. Now all we do is take it from here and we put it on the fireplace. So anytime you put the arch in, you have to use a string. This is a real stone, it's, and we had to cut all the stone. You see the string, every string here, that's how we know we're going straight with our arch. We put our piece in like this, and then we get the string to make sure we're going straight, you see? And that's how we put the arch in. Now this, this is kind of a infield lesson. This isn't machine shop work. This is out in the field making an arch. And I put two pieces of cardboard paper down. I have two loops in my string, which I did that previously. And what I do with that loop is I draw where my arch goes. Then I get to the second loop and I draw where my arch goes. This is all pre-thought of. I made my marks where I want my arch to be and I draw them out on my square. I got a figure in 3 8 of an inch joint. Now I have my arch all traced out. That's my center piece. One right, two right, one left, two left, three left. Then I very carefully, I got the two Arch, one on top of the other, I very carefully start to cut the arch out. We finished our arch and we cut out all our pieces. This is center, one right, two right. And all we do is we take this piece, now this is a piece of limestone, same things they built cathedrals out of, and we find the best possible place and then we trace our arch on the stone. Just like this. Don't forget this is uh, out in the field work. This isn't shop work. This is more for like country arches, residential areas. And then we pull it away. That's the impression of the arch. Now we went outside with the saw and we sawed our first piece of limestone. And that'll be our first example of an arch right there. 
and I'll show you an example of an arch on a church, a limestone arch. Okay, this is a church in Pittston, Pennsylvania, and you're going to be wondering why I'm showing you church arches, but I'll explain it to you at the end of the video. And uh, just a little picture on arches here. Now, now these are limestone arches, and they're dominant, so you don't really have to worry about matching the stones around it. But uh, I just wanted to point that out. That's all limestone, and the same kind of limestone I used when I did my video on how to build a step. That step was actually made out of limestone. Every time we're doing arches, you got to study what the old timers did. Like I said, you look over here, you got this stone here, it matches this stone here, this stone here, it matches this stone here, that's where you get the ideas from. You look at the whole thing, uh, just an example of arches. What I want to do is turn you on to this book. It's called Modern Practical Masonry. Some years ago, the Cathedral of St. John's out in New York City had an apprentice program because they're still working on that cathedral. And this was the book they would use to do all their carvings, all their geometry uh, to work on that cathedral. So this book was published, I think, in 1929 by a guy in England, Warland or something. And this gives you all the information. It's real high fidelity, uh, talks all about stone cutting and everything and uh, when I was out there watching them I couldn't get a copy of this book so I copied it from those guys and I see it's now on the internet. There's pictures of the, that was in the book all about how they did the courthouses, the banks and everything in the first part of our century. So. Uh, I just wanted to pass that on to you.